Hey everyone, it's the founder of the Developers Academy and you are watching Code Hangout episode number 2030. In this episode of Code Hangout, I would love to show you how you can create a slide out mini bar using a framework on GitHub called SW Reveal View Controller. This is one of many, many questions that I receive at the Developers Academy to create a code hangout on. So let's learn how to create a wonderful effects like this. The first thing I want you to do is go to the link right down below, download the starter project because there are a lot going on in the starter project that saves us some time and we already have a project so we don't have to build everything from scratch. When you go there in the Developers Academy website, it will ask you to sign up for a new member it's why that's because I want to give you my new iOS course as a gift for checking out Code Hangout. So definitely check it out after this video tutorial, okay? So here's our starter project. This project is a very common project that we have been using for our demos. This one displays most of our courses and programs at Developers Academy. I hope that you will check these courses and programs out with the link right down below. But now, when you go to the project, we have an, um, they call it a burger hamburger button like this. It has three dashes, three lines on top of each other. Okay, and we have each of those in every screen. Now, this project, we just use that as a demo. So we have a project that has different screens we can use to for the uh, burger menu or the review menu, okay, side out menu, whatever you call that. In this case, it is not a very, very, I think, um, logical way to use this, however, because we already have the tab bar controller. So if you already have any other ways of navigation don't use this one but this is just for the purpose of a demo okay so let's do this now in order to use this um, slide our menu view controller we will not view everything from scratch because we have a very very strong and battle tested library called SW reveal view controller inside the star project that you downloaded i send it to you you will see the link to the github library in the github okay and this one is incredibly they updated over the years it is implemented in objective c so it is quite stable it's incredibly stable we have the dot h and dot m now because this is the star project that i prepare for you we already drag the dot h and dot M file into this project but the first time when you drag these two files into your Swift project Xcode will ask you to create a breaching header file this breaching header files tells Swift project that we are using objective C files objective C code inside our Swift project so this breaching header will do all the transition stuff so we can use Swift code our uh, Swift interface from Objective-C Objective -C files, okay? <coughs> so the, in this bridging header, let's implement, I'm sorry, let's import the SW reveal view controller. Now this import statement for you guys who are not familiar with Objective-C, maybe a little bit cryptic, but in order to do this, we will have the dash like this, or the hashtag, and we have the import two quotation marks and we have sw reveal view controller dot h okay sw reveal view controller dot h make sure that we have that let's build the project to make sure we import the right one and yes we view succeeded so that's how we have the sw reveal view controller or any kind of objective c classes inside our swift project Let's go into the main storyboard and see how things look like. In this project, most of our work is in the storyboard. Let's expand that, okay? We have a lot of things going on here, but all it does is we have a tab bar controller. This tab bar controller contains 
several navigation controllers and uh, some view controllers, okay? Say view controllers, web controllers, and some view controllers, okay? Now, we also have another one called a tail view controller. This tail view controller is a static tail view has some menu item in that. Later on, we'll use this to navigate around our app instead of the tab bar controller, okay? So now, I will open the um, attribute inspector and then I will drag out another view controller on top of these things another view controller like this right on top of these guys and make sure that is like that the first step is we will make this view controller the custom class to be SW reveal view controller and press enter cool the second one is we will segue create a custom segue from this guy into this guy now my screen is pretty small in this laptop so uh, it will take some time and we will should use the document outline over here so I will control drag from this guy to this guy and make sure that we use a custom segue a custom manual segue okay let's drag it on top here so we see the segue and also we want to have another custom segue from this guy the reveal view controller to our table view controller let's do that again so you can see that okay here we go and custom like that next our job is to have oops let me run this this guy the first step is to connect and configure storyboard our next job is to change some properties of this segue click into this segue goes to the attribute inspector we have the storyboard segue over here the first one is the identifier of this segue should be sw front just the way that this uh, library is declared and the class is sw reveal view controller segue now not push controller but set controllers okay and press enter and also do the same one for this guy but instead of the identifier instead of sw front we use the sw rear so that the front will be our main content and the menu will be kind of like beneath it actually it just have um the it just have a very nice animation or the um the shadow of the menus or the shadow of the front view controllers will put on the menu view controller okay we see the shadow next so we have these two in place our next job is to connect by hands from this one to the each of these cells in this tail view controller into these classes into the navigation controllers okay so let's do that again my screen is pretty small so let's do this in the document outline but now the first one this is the tail view controller right here okay the first cell over here is not our first item in the menu but rather the second one because the first cell is the developers academy logo so we want to make sure that we connect from the second one control drag for this to this guy a custom segue okay and this guy the second one control drag to this guy the third one connect the fourth cell to the third cell navigation controller custom segue and the last one which is the last cell to this guy which is a custom segue also so there we have it a tons of new segways now when we have this new segue let's zoom in okay we have this segue let's change the class the class of this guy we don't have to change the identifier in this case anymore but change the class into sw reveal view controller segue push controller and also this guy sw reveal view controller segue 
push controller and also this segway you see the coli braces which is the custom segway and sw reveal view controller segway and also the last one sw okay they have those segways in place good to go now our next job is right now instead of this tab bar controller to be our reveal view controller now we want to make sure that the reveal view controller is the initial view controller so we can change this like that now run the project to see how it looks like so here's how our app looks like we have everything looks the same but when we click into this bar button item nothing happens well why is that well the reason for that is those bar button item is our own bar button items it doesn't have anything to do with the reveal sw reveal view controller so this button item it doesn't have anything configured yet and also we didn't have the um, when we slide it like this slide like that we doesn't have anything uh, scored out right the menu bar button the slide out menu so let's go into the courses T view controller when you go there you will see an IB outlet this IB outlet is the outlet of the menu button okay we already create that for you so in the view the load the burger slide uh, sidebar menu let's do this first we want to check if let the I'm sorry if the reveal view controller is not nil it means that if we are using the reveal view controller inside this uh, in this class now where does this reveal view controller comes from it does it looks like a method inside this courses T view controller but if you look around this courses T view controller it doesn't contain in this reveal view controller where is that well if we hold the command key and click into this reveal view controller we goes into a class called the sw reveal view controller h which is the handle file or all of the files of the methods and properties that is public to us from the sw reveal view controller okay and that guy is a method returns the sw reveal view controller and it is a category of the ui view controller now where is the category in objective c world which is the language we previously used to build ios at a category is just like an extension in swift although extension in swift especially swift 2 has so much more power than a category but you can think of it as a extension you can add some new methods inside a script uh, inside a class okay so this category or extension of the ui view controller oops adds the reveal view controller to that and our classes our controllers are an instance of the or inherit from the ui view controller or some something in which from that has the reveal view controller that's why we can check that okay i hope that it makes sense now next you want to add a target for the menu button the target to be the reveal view controller and also we want to add the menu dot button dot action to be reveal toggle be careful over here make sure that it is reveal toggle call it because it has some parameter after that let's run the project to have, see how it looks like all right so here's how our project looks like we have this same project but when we click into this tab bar this bar button item then we have the slide out menu bar and when we click onto one of those let's say the courses it goes back it snap back very nice animation but there's one thing to uh, see over here is that we cannot slide out like this okay we cannot slide out something like this 
So in order to slide out, have the slide out of the view, we want to add a gesture recognizer into the view. So view dot add gesture recognizer, and that will be self dot reveal view controller dot pan gesture recognizer. It will return quite well the information of the pan gesture for us. We don't have to do anything else, but literally just three lines, four lines of code like this. And see how it looks like. Open it like that. Goes back here. Boom. And we have the pan gesture recognizer. Now, one last problem is when we go into maybe pro RS programs tabs like this, we cannot go back. Why is that? Well, a little hint over here is just like the courses T view controller before, those two, those three controllers, the web view controller, the Swift, um, the programs tail view controller, and the profile view controller hasn't been implement, implemented with these lines of code. So your challenge in this episode of Code Hangout is to implement those into the rest of the project. Now, if you like, you can just copy paste or you can type in if you are a very hardworking student. So let's try it out. All right, I hope that you enjoyed this episode of Code Hangout. If you have any questions, feel free to post it right down below at our blog. Or if you love to watch more video tutorials from me every week, every day, subscribe to my channel on YouTube and go to dictran.cl or developersacademy.il and subscribe to our newsletter list. So every week I can send you even more video tutorials. Oh, when you enter your name and email to subscribe to our newsletter, I already send you another video after you send you the start project, right? After that video, inside that video, I send you another course, an iOS course I created for you, a new iOS course I want to give you as a free gift, as my thanks for checking out Code Hangout, for supporting me in this channel. So definitely check that out, goes back to your inbox and get that video tutorials series from me. So until next time, I see you in the next episode of Code Hangout. I see you at the Developers Academy. Go out there every single day of your life, learn new things, craft your ideas, and contribute to the world.